Hi, welcome to another edition of 3Cloud Solution videos. My name is John Bloom, and I'm a principal consultant. Today, I want to talk about the modern data platform in Azure. So in order to speak about Azure Modern Data Platform, I'd like to explain how we got here. And from the Microsoft stack to Microsoft Business Intelligence, which we've had for 20 plus years now, uh, it was typically on-premise. The majority of products were on-premise. And we use SQL Server Database as our storage. And for our extract, transform, and load, we use SQL Server Integration Services. We use reporting services for delivery in the form of static reports that can be scheduled, automated with parameters. You can drop a PDF or an Excel on a network share for consumption, or you can email the reports to specific people at specific times. For master data, we use SQL Server Master Data Services. For data quality, we use DQS. Security was basically in multiple places. Our change management system was based on a ticketing system, and it was very manual, room for errors. For source code repository, it was on-prem. And our data dictionary, which consists of the tables and field types and descriptions for the business to understand the data model, was typically in Excel. It got outdated pretty fast, and it was typically buried somewhere on the network, difficult to find. When we talk about the Azure Data Platform, in, in the cloud, we can see the transition for the better. For storage, we have a variety of options, including Azure SQL Database, Synapse, Cloud Storage, and Cosmos DB. For our extract, transform, and load, we use Azure Data Factory or Azure Databricks, and that works for ETL and ELT. Our delivery of reports are now in Power BI in the form of dashboards, and those SSRS reports are being converted to paginated. For master data, we have a variety of third-party vendors that we're partners with, including data quality, and a variety of, we have a, a variety of partners uh, which we form alliances to uh, assist. For security, we leverage the Azure Key Vault. We also use Azure RB, RBAC, which consists of roles assigned to people and groups. And we use the service principles uh, for some of our automation. For change management, we use the Azure DevOps boards, and we typically work in sprints. One or two weeks, we bite off a certain chunk of work that we think we can complete. You work on the task, you update the ticket, it gets tested, moved to production, and closed out in the form of mini sprints, uh, mini wins over time. For source code repository, we leverage the Azure DevOps Git. For data dictionary, we now have Azure Purview. Also with Azure Purview, which is new, is data lineage and data sensitivity which is a nice addition, a well-needed, uh, fills in a, a lot of gaps that we had prior. So when we talk about the analytic, analytical maturity curve, we start out with the basic reporting. It's the static reports with parameters that the user logs in and enters the parameters, waits for the report to render, and then looks at the report. If they want to run it again, they have to do the same thing over and over again. That's why we move to the self-service reporting, where we're not dependent on IT for the reports creation. Basically, the model is built, and through Power BI, we, have, we empower the user to build their own reports, to investigate the data, and come up with uh, insights, which is used to run the business, increase sales, streamline processes, and lower costs. The next one is predictive where we also form models and allow machine learning uh, to process the data, look for patterns over time. We have real-time analytics, and then the final is the real-time predictive modeling and mining. So you can see we've come, a, we've come a long way over the years for the better, and Azure is a solid platform in which to run your business in the cloud and manage your data. When you throw in data governance, which encompasses a lot, Azure can handle the majority, if not all, of your data needs. So if you want to discuss this topic in more detail or have questions on Azure,
please click on the link below for more information and we'll be happy to discuss it with you further. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.